Hello to my lovely art fam. Today I am going to be sharing some of my favorite art supplies with you that you can get on Amazon. So this video is not sponsored at all. This is just something that I really enjoy doing. If you look back at my channel over the years, I've already done this same video twice. But my favorite art supplies changes over time and with seasons. So I wanted to share with you what I'm currently like really, really enjoying. And I don't know, I hope this inspires you. I hope that if you are looking at trying new art supplies or wondering what I use in my videos, that this is helpful to you in some way. I have this like massive pile right here. Let's just start. So before I jump into this and share some of these favorites with you, I'm just gonna preface this by saying, this is not a review video. Like if you are expecting me to list off the light fastness or pigmentation and all this stuff of all these art supplies, I would recommend going elsewhere because I'm not really like a review channel. I'm more of like an entertainment art channel, but I'm just showing you behind the scenes of things that I love today. And I will share things that I do and don't like about these supplies. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. Let's move on, jump into the favorite supplies. First things first, we have these Karen Dash Luminance colored pencils. This is the 76 set. It also comes with two blenders. I enjoyed these a lot. These are probably the highest quality colored pencils I have ever experienced. These actually are highly pigmented. They're very light fast. Uh, yeah, and they have like a bunch of information about light fastness and all that on the back of the box. So if you like to geek out about that, there you go. I like these though because they're really pretty. I just love the natural raw wood look and then like the color at the bottom and the top. It's just so pretty to me. And there's different trays that lift out of this and it's padded very well. So like if you drop it, it's padded very well. I have not dropped mine and I hope to never. <laughs> but yeah, I really love these. I've used them in many videos in the past. I would say the only things I don't like super much about these pencils is the fact that they are super, super expensive and that made me afraid to use them at first, but they're worth the money. But another thing, if you're somebody who's used to using Prismacolors and I grew up using Prismacolors, I feel like there's a difference with like layering and blending. Like it just feels different. It's not as easy for me to blend and layer with these as it is with Prismacolor. It's just a small learning curve. You get the hang of it and they're amazing pencils. So the next one I just actually mentioned, <laughs> Prismacolor. I treated myself to this set for Christmas and this is the 150 count colored pencil set. I kind of hated on Prismacolor for a short period of time, but I'm back to loving them. But look at this, look at this. They're just beautiful. They're so beautiful. There's six trays of colored pencils in here. This is a pretty good deal for your money. Like it's a lot cheaper than that Karen Dash set. So yeah, I really like these. They blend like a dream. If I would recommend any professional quality colored pencil to somebody who wants to get into colored pencils, these babies right here. So this one here is like a really famous one that got really popular on Amazon over the last like two or three years. So I'll share it with you because I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. I thought it would just be like a trend or like a phase, but like <laughs> I love these. This is the jelly gouache set. I don't remember how many are in here. 56 colors in this set. And I really like this particular one because I had a smaller palette and it dried out so fast that, ugh, I don't know, it just didn't have a good seal around the edges. But this one has a really good seal. I just use a spray bottle with water and reactivate it. Now, some people are concerned with mold with this palette, like forming in the paint. And I have never experienced that, like at all. To me, this is really good quality for the price. I mean, I don't think this is professional quality gouache paint by any means, but to have a massive palette of gouache that I can just goof off in my sketchbook with is really nice and freeing. So if you're somebody who, oh, and look at the handles. Mm, yeah. If you're somebody who 
gets afraid to use expensive supplies and you like freeze up and you never use them and you just look at them and you feel guilty if you try to use them. I recommend something like this. It is very affordable. There's a great color selection. Yeah, I just love it. Next, I'm gonna share my favorite brand of like canvases with you that you can get on Amazon. I do really like Blix canvases, like they have really good ones at their store, but my favorite, favorite canvases, oh, ampersand gesso board. This stuff, this is a panel that you paint on, but it's a cradled canvas. Now you can get them like this too, just flat panels. I love these things so, so much. I love having a smooth surface to paint on. These are really good quality. I love them a lot. They're definitely like a staple in my studio. Like I have a drawer full of just a bunch of these little panels. They also have clayboard like this. This is clayboard. It's a lot smoother than gesso board, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of the clayboard one. But the gesso board is really smooth and it has a slight tooth to it, so your paint sticks to it nicely. Really great, especially for acrylic painting. I will say, clay board works really nice for oil painting though. I do like it for oil painting. Downfall about these, they can be pretty pricey, but uh, the quality makes it so worth it. I love these. Continuing with favorite paints, let me show you another one. This basket, you probably see in the background of some of my videos when I show my desk, because it always sits on my desk, which says a lot because not a lot of things get the privilege of sitting on my desk other than chapstick and a candle. <laughs> but this is like my, my baby. This is golden, heavy body acrylic paint. The pigmentation with this stuff is just phenomenal. This is a professional quality paint. It does run a little pricey, but to me it is worth it because I do art full time, I sell my paintings, so I try to use professional quality paints. They do have the ASTM light fastness information on each tube too, so if you are somebody who really cares about that stuff, Golden has a good reputation for light fastness, so just saying. You see those paintings behind me? Like any acrylic paintings that I do, <laughs> they are with Golden Heavy Body acrylic paint. I love this stuff so, so much. And look at this. Just have to share this with you. They sell massive tubes of their titanium white and I blow through this stuff so fast. So I'm really thankful for that. They also sell massive tubes in just about any color, but I usually just get whites with them because like a little bit goes a long way, honestly. Like these tubes last a decent amount of time. We are not done talking about paint though, because you know me, paint is my favorite medium. Acrylic paint and oil paint. That is my top favorite art supply. I will share my other basket with you. This basket here has been neglected because I am pregnant and I am not using oil paint while I am pregnant. Just wanna say that before people come for me and assume stuff. And uh, yeah, anyway, I am being safe, don't worry. But if you're curious about what my favorite type of oil paint is, Windsor Newton oil paint. It is so, so good and these little tubes, a little bit goes a long way, a really long way. So I love using this stuff. I do have a couple tubes of Gamblin's oil paint and it's really nice, I like it a lot. I don't notice much of a difference between that and Windsor and Newton, so yeah. I have another one and this is kind of a weird art supply that is a favorite but it is my baby and I love it. I am also about to reveal some bad habits with you folks. This here is a butcher tray like this and I love using this for my acrylic paints because basically it's like a nice mixing tray and when I use acrylic paint, I love using a spray bottle with water and it doesn't like pour out or anything. I can use, you know, a palette knife or a brush to mix stuff up in this. 
And then if I don't finish a painting in one sitting, I can easily, again, spray it with water and just cover it. Like sometimes I just lay a book right on top of it and it stays wet for days. Like I'm not even joking. <laughs> so I love this so much. I do have other palettes with like proper lids, but I always go back to this one. This one here is just really nice. I can also just like soak it in my sink with some Dawn Power Wash and water in it. And then all this just peels off and it's so satisfying. Okay, I have some miscellaneous favorites for the end of this video and I'm excited to share those with you. So this favorite you have seen me use for like years on my channel. These are Posca paint pens and I love these. This is what they look like. They make a really satisfying sound if you shake them. But they're really nice for just easy crafty projects that you don't need to do a lot of blending with and it dries like paint. They're really good for like customizing stuff. Like I've customized hydro flasks, shoes. I've drawn on wood with them, stuff like that in the past. And it's just a fun time. I really enjoy them. There's a lot of other companies that offer paint pens now though, like Karen, Arteza, like a bunch of other places too, so like, yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> I just use what I have and I really like these. The next thing, these things here. You might be wondering like, okay, what is that? <laughs> so I really love to do printmaking. Like it's just a fun thing to do every now and then. Like here's one that I didn't rinse off, but it's probably good I didn't so you can tell what it is in the video. It's like an eye with a sun. And basically you carve the material out of your printing block and yeah, you create prints with it. There's all these little attachments inside that you can use to carve your artwork into essentially a stamp, a massive stamp. People refer to this as like block printing or just printing, lino cutting, whatever. Um, I just really enjoy doing this. For some reason, it is so therapeutic to carve designs out of a material and then just like play with the shavings afterward. <laughs> so this is definitely a favorite art supply and I got these on Amazon. Okay, so this one I should have mentioned in the paint section because I only use it when I paint, but I will mention it now. This here is called Vine Charcoal. It is from Windsor & Newton. I love this stuff because it's really good for like loose sketches under your paintings. And the beauty of it is you can paint right over it and it just like disappears. It's awesome. And if you make a mistake, you just like brush your canvas and then boom, it comes off. It is a very soft charcoal and I just love it. I am not a charcoal person either, but when it comes to sketches on canvas or those gesso boards or whatever, this stuff works wonders. Highly recommend it. I took a painting class in college and my professor actually recommended this to us for doing our sketches before we go into the painting itself. And it just like blew my mind when I tried it. So highly recommend this. I love it and it's very cheap. <laughs> anyway, those are my favorite art supplies that you can find on Amazon. So yeah, I will leave a list of links below too and I hope it helps you. I really love creating stuff with all these supplies. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful in some way or just like interesting. I have not had energy to create art pieces every single week. So right now I'm showing you some things that I enjoy using and some behind the scenes vlogs and stuff too. Anyway, I will see you when I see you and have a beautiful day. Bye.